Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Books Central Inside the Pages, where we dive deep into the world of literature and storytelling. I'm your host, Abby, and today we have a special guest joining us. Please welcome author Anna Richardson to talk about her latest children's book, Tales of Wisdom. Thank you for having me, Abby. I'm thrilled to be here and share more about Tales of Wisdom with your listeners. We're excited to hear all about it. Can you tell us a bit about the book and its inspiration? Of course. Tales of Wisdom is a collection of short stories filled with valuable life lessons for children. Each story features characters who face challenges and learn essential morals along the way. The inspiration behind the book came from wanting to create a resource for parents and teachers to teach kids about important values in a fun and engaging way. That sounds wonderful. What impact do you hope Tales of Wisdom will have on young readers? I hope that Tales of Wisdom will inspire children to think about the world around them and the choices they make. I hope kids will learn empathy, kindness, and resilience by reading these stories. These are essential qualities that will help them navigate through life and make a positive impact on others. That's a powerful message to convey through storytelling. Would you mind sharing one of the stories from the book with our listeners? Of course. Let me read an excerpt from one of my favorite stories in Tales of Wisdom, titled Emotions. Once upon a time, in a small town nestled amidst hills, there lived a young boy named Jake. Jake was like any other ten-year-old curious, energetic, and always ready for an adventure. His world was filled with laughter, play, and the joy of discovery. However, there was one thing that Jake had trouble with expressing his emotions. Every day, Jake would put on a brave face, even when he felt sad or scared. He never let anyone see how he truly felt, thinking that showing his emotions would make him weak. But deep inside, he yearned for someone to understand him, to listen to his dreams and fears. One sunny day, as Jake wandered through the meadow near his house, he stumbled upon an ancient-looking book with a faded cover. Intrigued, he blew off the dust and opened it. To his astonishment, the pages were filled with drawings of fantastical creatures and places. But what caught Jake's attention the most was a map in the middle of the book. The map depicted a faraway land filled with tall mountains, sparkling rivers, and lush green forests. It seemed like an enchanted realm full of mysteries yet to be revealed. As he wondered what lay behind those distant hills, excitement surged through Jake's veins. With a sense of purpose burning inside him, Jake embarked on a journey to uncover the secrets of the mystical land. He packed his bag with snacks, a water bottle, and the enchanted book and set off on an adventure that would change his life forever. As Jake walked through the dense forest, he was enthralled by the vibrant colors and the sweet fragrance of the flowers. He felt alive and free, like a bird soaring through the sky. Yet, at the same time, he couldn't help but notice a heaviness weighing on his heart. His journey had awakened something within him, something he couldn't ignore any more a deep longing to express his emotions. Jake encountered various creatures on his way a wise owl perched on a tree branch, a mischievous squirrel eating acorns, and even a timid rabbit hiding among the bushes. Each encounter taught him a valuable lesson about the importance of expressing emotions. The owl shared his wisdom, telling Jake, holding in your feelings is like locking away the most precious parts of yourself. Embrace your emotions, my young friend, for they are what make you truly alive. With every passing day, Jake started to open up. He would talk to the trees, sharing his dreams and fears, and even laugh out loud when something truly made him happy. It felt releasing, as if a weight had been lifted from his shoulders, and he discovered a newfound strength he never knew he possessed. As Jake reached the peak of the tallest mountain, he stood in awe of the breathtaking view before him. The sky was painted with hues of orange and purple, and the world seemed to shimmer with a magical glow. At that moment, Jake realized that his journey of self-discovery had come to an end. He had found what he had been searching for all along himself. Jake started his descent back home with a heart bursting with joy, feeling a renewed sense of purpose. This time, he wasn't afraid to show his true emotions. 
When he returned to his town, he shared his stories with his family and friends, who listened attentively and embraced him wholeheartedly. From that day forward, Jake continued to express his emotions the joy, the sadness, and everything in between. He became a role model for others, teaching them the value of authenticity and emotional honesty. Jake's journey had inspired not only himself but also those around him. Summary for parents, for parents reading this story, it is a gentle reminder of the vital life lesson that children can derive from Jake's journey. It emphasizes the importance of expressing emotions and its power to build stronger connections. Please encourage your children to embrace their feelings and share their thoughts and emotions, for it is through this openness that proper growth and understanding can be achieved. Let Jake's transformation guide your child's self-discovery as they embark on their journey of embracing and expressing their beautiful and unique emotions. Wow, that was beautiful. Your storytelling really brings these characters and lessons to life. Thank you, Abby. I believe that storytelling is a powerful tool to convey important messages and spark imagination in young minds. Absolutely. Before we wrap up, do you have any insights on book marketing that you'd like to share with our audience? It's essential to connect with your target audience and build relationships with readers. Social media, book signings, and collaborations with other authors or influencers are great ways to promote your book. And most importantly, believe in the value of your story and let your passion shine through in all your marketing efforts. Wise words, Anna. Thank you for sharing your insights and your beautiful book with us today. Where can readers get hold of your book? Thank you for having me, Abby. Discussing Tales of Wisdom with you and your listeners has been a pleasure. You can get a Tales of Wisdom ebook from Kobo. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Books Central Inside the Pages. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to check out Anna Richardson's Tales of Wisdom for a heartwarming collection of stories that will inspire and educate young readers. Until next time, happy reading! 